my name is Abby Penny. I am a senior lecturer in the School of Engineering at University of Wales Trinity St David based in Swansea. I teach the engineering science provision across all of our engineering courses so that can be anything from a degree apprenticeship to the usual full-time Bachelor of Engineering. We teach a range of subjects but our most popular subjects are our multiple motorcycle engineering. I am going to explain to you what we use the equipment supplied by Tech Equipment for and how we use that to break up what would usually be a chalk and talk lesson, so something like a lecture theatre and lots of me talking and students listening. And we use the equipment to make that a more interactive uh, lesson and also to give the students more contextualisation so they can visualise the practical uh, element of our theoretical lessons. Welcome to our engineering science lab. It's a really useful facility and it is used across a range of levels of our programs uh, to demonstrate all sorts of bits of theory and connect the stuff that they've learned in class with something a bit more practical to help them visualize it. Much of the equipment in here has been supplied to us from tech equipment and I'm gonna talk you through how I've used it this year. So the experiments I've used this semester for our assessments is the ES6 tensile tester and also the ES9 potential and kinetic energy kit. So the uh, ES6, the tensile tester, is a really lovely piece of equip equipment, very compact, enables students to test four different samples. You'll see one in here and then three more down there. And we like it because it's a good precursor to our larger tensile tester, which you can see in the background here. And so similarly with our potential energy kit, it's a really lovely item. Uh, it enables students to um, do some very repeatable experiments uh, they get some data out of it and what they end up calculating is the inertia of the little flywheel and pulley assembly which is great because it gives them a definite value that they're looking for there's a value given by tech equipment as the uh, sort of nominal value and they're looking for an experimental value so there's some good validation in there which is something we really love in engineering is that validation and um, the really great thing about tech equipment is they come with all the worksheets so it enables students a bit of independent learning they get to set up the kit themselves minimal health and safety issues so you, they can do that supervised in a classroom and they get to set up the kit and then they collect the data themselves so these worksheets are really great uh, they're very self-explanatory easy to follow and then the students just fill in the blanks and what i get them to do then is go and create their own uh, spreadsheets and they can generate the graphs themselves uh, similarly look with this one it's got nice um, sort of very simple step-by-step -step uh, explanations of how to carry out the experiment incidentally easily my favorite piece of kit is the magnetic ruler that comes with the, the ES9 just does its job really well I hope that explains how I use these. It's very good for the assessment. It enables us to uh, meet quite a few of our AHEP learning outcomes for our IMEC accreditation, which is uh, very useful and it's all integrated nicely.